All right. That was their SOTT basic trailer. It's a lot of fun. I've done that course a few times just to help out, and it feels like you learn something every time. In the meantime, I'm going to buzz over here. Oh. Yeah, I'm over in the uh, U.S. side this time. Musk gonna be on the electricity side uh, right now. I'm uh, hovering over Karma and his group right now. They're going over the uh, their plan briefing right now. Okay, for for this one, it looks like the insurgents have decided that their HAB or roadblock, whatever you want to call it, the U.S. target has moved a little farther south. Of course, they've got it surrounded by a couple of big old buildings. Which is great for that aerial support, or at least elevated support. Everyone's starting to roll in. They're going to spread out. I haven't heard any brief. Oh, yeah, I need to join a squad. That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah, so one tap man. Uh, Pin and AKA are the guys uh, that make our videos for us. They definitely do a very, very, very good job of doing this. Yeah. Hyper's not joking. Penn is the man when it comes to this stuff. For um, sure. There's, there's a lot of other people that help too. Um, Karma obviously makes a ton of videos to help the game of squad. And and that's, you know, we love we love squad ops and we love doing this, but none of this would be possible without the game of squad itself. So our main thing is to grow the game, even before ourselves. We just want people to come and play the game. Enjoy the game for what it, for what it is. Not, even if you don't want to do the one life, a little bit slower pace sometimes, play of squad ops. Uh, Pavy, no, this is, well, this is a map. It's going to be a, a introduced in the next few days, actually. So you'd be playing on it before you know it. Uh, yeah, we'll throw out the shout out. Actually, when you, in, I think at least in one of the mains, the Insurgents main, it says, welcome to Al Braza, originally made in PR by yep. Duck Hunt. It and does. Then, I, can, I can go to right now. Yeah, brought to squad by Chance Bra. And yeah, Chance Bot's right. probably not here because he's in Australia. I think it's. I don't know. There we go. I don't know I what time it is right now. Uh, Mastro Dota. Yes, uh, we have two different sessions uh, during our uh, SOTC basic on the Thursdays. One's for EU people, and uh, the other one's for NA. You don't have to be specifically EU or NA. It doesn't matter. Just whatever time worked out for you. Uh, and else we did start up recently new is uh, actually holding them on Saturdays as well. And it should be the 13th of next week, or uh, the 13th of April will be our next one on Thursday, and then the 15th uh, in between our uh, ops events, between the EU session and the NA session, we'll hold a SOTT basic as well. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the map, or at the sign right now. I <laughs> that, that says, sign, uh, welcome to uh, Al Bazra that we were just talking about. And like I said, uh, the original person who made this was uh, Duck Hunt uh, back in the PR, and then uh, Chance Bra uh, went ahead and uh, remade it for Squad. Which he did an excellent job on. When I, kept I like all the, the signs here. on all the buildings, just random signs. No, I know, right? And then, uh, and about the so AMD the uh, users on uh, was that Logar Valley? And to the northwest in the yeah, not Logar Valley, uh, Fool's Road. And a little bit south, covering that. Uh, we can rotate our forces. South Here's my favorite one. See him coming south. Call a Sifu for one? a What's good time one? with a picture of a goat. <laughs> I just <laughs> like that. Stonk shot eight keypads <laughs> on that high rise. You can see him coming from the east, west, and north. Storm storage. I can take it. Uh, yeah, go for it. Have him run out there straight off the bat. Um, it's a pretty small storage building. Can they take a? Uh, oh, I'm losing my earpiece. Hold on a second. I can barely hear you. Yeah. Just grab one that's near. All right, insurgents are still briefing. Um, like yeah, we can usually, when they're in the middle. We can usually time it pretty good and get not not waste any time, but we decided not to take a break, so we, we just kept rolling. I see in the chat the U.S. is ready. Yep. U.S. is ready. They're all loaded up in their vehicles that they're going to be taking, and they're just going to be waiting for an insurgency to uh, get their areas uh, lined up and ready for them to go. You know, I'm not sure what the insurgent strategy is. I'm sure it's going to be spread out, get in buildings, get high, aim down, no mercy. Yep. We'll see if uh, we'll see what uh, Carmen can do on this side. Lish did a pretty good job of getting in that uh, town. It's just once you're in there, holy crap, it's hard to move. I Especially think when... that the Humvees are going to play a bigger role. 
they need to play a bigger role uh, for the U.S. Especially they if they get three. Lish only brought two. If they bring three, you can you can really suppress yep. an entire the side of the town and it's let your guys walk in. They're definitely three bringing three as well. They're guys, bringing three this time. Put a lot of guys there. We can equally send the push across if we could. <laughs> <laughs> Get high. That's my strategy, says Call Sign Hotel. Yeah, you and half the other people play in this game. They're going to send a scout out straight away to what was that building? Foxtrot A256. Yeah, I, let's get on Lish. He's doing a little quick briefing right now. <laughs> Mighty, he's trying to figure out how to get out of the airfield right now. <laughs> through if we've got elevation on this southwest and west we'll see him coming uh at which point if we see him coming that way we'll have time to react and uh and get some guys around there hide them in the air uh, in the low buildings to the southwest and just cover them that way um so that's the west covered and then two can kind of handle the east we've got two dishkas to place down i'm thinking one in the building just uh, to the northeast of us covering north up the road Another one kind of covering west and southwest for any trans or Humvees coming over the horizon. Foxtrot's going to run Rogers for the initial like 10 or so minutes. We shouldn't need much of it. We've got plenty of elevation, uh, plenty of hard cover in these buildings. Um, that's pretty much it. We're going to. Upon taking contact, we'll get some guys to uh, kind of wrap around them, but we'll also back. We'll work mostly in buddy teams here rather than fire teams. So uh, just, yeah. Well, uh, make use of the minced bikes as well. If you want. Wherever you find them, you can pick those up. Lish. Um, yeah, we've got to defend this for 45 minutes. Essentially, you know what's going on. We played the last round. If you guys have any suggestions, bring them. I, I'm just trying to think what the best avenue of approach for this is. If not, uh, we'll just run with that plan and then flesh it out as we go. Yeah, go for it. Um, should we yeah, sorry if it sounded weird. We're trying to on, like, get you the brief for the insurgents. If, if we can catch a briefing or given the orders, we definitely want to let you guys hear that so that you know what's going on and you know what the plan is. So yeah, we're just still uh, here. Lish okay. is talking. Yeah, Lish is still briefing. Yeah. You US know what I think is, he's. Uh, go ahead. I think he's just he's allocating his scouts right now to you know, go here, <laughs> go there, get your binox out. Dude, US is just uh, sitting right here at Maine, ready to go. They're locked and loaded, ready to go and kick some ass. We're just rolling through the U.S. cameras right now. We've got a lot, so Penn's just going to take a moment, show you guys all our cameramen. I don't know who they all are because there's a lot. <laughs> there's definitely a lot. Like I said uh, earlier, we, we have like about 16 uh, cameras right now. Yeah, so from the, from the, from the berm where we're going to be at, we're going to be – squad one should be ideally pushing straight south, and so I want to divide the buildings mm. in half. So I don't know when we're going to go live yet. We'll roll through the cameras. we got Sedingo's camera. It's like slave labor in America now. Google tracks also. Another camera, Shadowed Ritual. And thanks to all these guys. Tech, the tactical Brits, another one. Yeah, if it was for these guys, we definitely wouldn't be uh, helping to give you guys the camera angles. We've got Barnes. Uh, yep. So since uh, he's gonna be squad lead. Creeping is gone. Can I bring that motorcycle over that building? Another squad leader, Schmidt. Yeah, yeah. We've got Xpit. Another squad leader for the U.S. Mighty. Command for the U.S. Karma Cut. All squads, all squads, live in 60 seconds, over. So we are missing one. We've got the Neils. Look at all these cameras. I think we're about half done, maybe. 
Live at 144, that's one minute from now. Yeah, we're missing Jack. I feel, I feel like we do, uh... There we go. We've got Umarex also on camera. We've also got the neural. We are missing one. All right, I think that's it for now. We got thirty seconds till live. From what Commerce saying, we are live in thirty seconds. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. Again. Yeah, we've got a lot of a lot of people that are willing to stream it to Penn and let him broadcast everything and and be a part of this. It's amazing the way yep. that it works. You know, the I always see shout outs and chats about the production. Well, it's not us. It's it's not me. It's not Hyper. It's Penn. He's the man. It is. He's the one behind that and controls. All we do is just commentate as much as we can and try to keep it interesting for you guys. Oh, goodness. They just lost uh, Hamlet, one of their squad leads. Oh, he'll probably be back. I'm sure. All right. They're going to go, go ahead and continue on with that, it looks like. Yeah, we are live. I haven't seen it. I'm going to throw a broadcast, though. Yes. I'm live. So, U.S. This actually might work better because your push will be so delayed. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and push out. Uh, they did lose their SL right now. So, hopefully, hopefully he'll be able to get back in and get inside here. Well, you'd think they would. Someone else will take over his SL when he gets. Oh back yeah, for sure. Karma uh, is definitely out. staying back. Yep, insurgents are spreading out. Easy. Already seen a couple heading up in the uh, rooftops. Yeah, I'm starting to see them now. Now the uh, U.S. is starting to get closer. All right, which way are they coming in? Are they coming in north? Uh, they're coming east? in from the north uh, west, west side. I mean? Northwest side. Okay. Oh, now they're cutting. Uh, now they're cutting east. Oh, I see them. Contact yep, they're starting to cut east. It looks like they're going to be, uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to get seen. No one's uh, got any clear lines that I can tell right now. Yeah, they've, uh, they're have they pretty, they're ducked back in here a little ways still. Looks like they're going to unload infantry here with that transport truck and push in. Oh, goodness, they're going to try to do the same thing that... uh. Oh no, they're right. They're going. They're loading back up. They're like, nope, we're not doing it this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nuke Dukem. I think it should be good. Your local time should be accurate. Your ISP tells tells everyone where you're from, so or tells this website where you're from, so you sh it should be accurate to your time zone. I know Hyper Evo. He's here with me. He's from Arizona, so it should be fine. Yeah, uh, our typical times for our up events on a. Uh, Friday, or Saturday uh, night will be at one o'clock in six o'clock uh, in Arizona time. But yeah, yes, when the uh, U.S. has DST, then it becomes seven, I think. Yeah. Um, if in doubt, just check our uh, website, and it will be inside your guys' uh, local time. Uh, oh, day now. Hope he's unloading uh, on a couple people up there. I can't tell who it is. I can't oh that burst saying and I can't tell the other person's name. Decipher maybe? They just unloaded those homies just unloaded on them. They definitely rattled their cage up. Squad one, are you prepared to move? Are you gonna push uh, one, uh, direct south pretty much from this pause over? But uh, now that the uh, some <laughs> unloaded on these guys, they definitely gave away their position, and I'm pretty sure they're all going to be looking towards this north now, uh, and uh, see if they can't find uh, these uh, U.S. troops now. Squad two, command, you set to cover. Yep, we're ready. We're dismounting. We're gonna be like right. seal operators helping out all right. right now in Syria. That Another Humvee one way one west. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I didn't even see him pushing out there. Wow. In the meantime, the insurgents have died. basically taken a fort in all of these tall buildings. They've got a lot of battle buddies spread out in different tall buildings, big tall ones. Not necessarily on the top floors. 
U.S. is making a push right now. They're uh, having the Humvees and everybody else to cover fire while three troops uh, move in from the north. I see that, the suppression from the Humvees from the north. Yep. Perfect. We were just talking about this. Um, they can just sit there and lay down suppression. The insurgents will be afraid to stick their heads out. And here comes that full squad, even in a line formation, just pushing up. Who's their leader up there? Who's leading that squad? Let me find out real quick for you. It looks like it's going to be Jaffe. Yep, uh, looks like Jaffe. Jaffe squad, all right. Cool. So they're, man, they did a really good push with this. They were able to get inside of town with no casualties whatsoever. Yeah, that's really good. Excellent suppression. And, and sure. you can tell the U.S., they're not sure where they are. No. The insurgents are finally shooting back. They know they're over there, but they're shooting a little low. So they're basically just suppressing each other. It looks like Bursting and Decipher are heading back to uh, their... Uh, Oh no, they're going to. It looks like they might be pushing uh, against this northern uh, flank here. Oh, they are. They're coming towards this northern flank. Yep. Here it comes. Oh boy. Uh, got most of it cleared. We're pushing to the uh, next street. And then Roger there. Man, they got a. U.S. has a really nice uh, line going on here coming into this north side of the town. They're definitely making their way through. Uh, first thing and Decipher need to be careful because uh, they're going to broadcast themselves and might get killed. Yeah, they, they were trying to go into a different building, but there was a door on the top floor, so they couldn't get in. Oh. <laughs> well, Sedingo so and, uh, yeah, so Dingo and uh, Burns are just right across the street from them. They yeah. might have a little bit of contact right here. Alpha, have you cleared all your buildings? First uh, we got one more, I think. Copy that. Let me know when one of you itemized. Uh, the cipher's looking. Humvee's still uh, lighting up, Roger printing in some suppression two, going on. Burns is taking cover over here in the uh, looks like central mid town. Oh, they just opened up fire on Sedingo. Oh man! And Burns. Burns had to take so uh, had disadvantages. Oh, there they go. They're going to take off. They're saying, "Forget that. We're going to go back to our crew now." There is a four-man fire team in the southwest of, of Alberta. We've got Hamlet, part-time ninja, expert, and soap. Four-man squad. It's actually the whole squad, I think, for them. Yeah, it is. Sam Lee's little mini squad. And they're unnoticed. That's the big thing. No one's seen them yet. They're holed up, just chilling out. They've got a long ways to go. A lot of buildings between them and the objective. Yeah, they brought up the uh, two Humvees that are on the northern flank here inside the town now. So they're starting to slowly push their way in all around. Oh, that's cool. Well, the rest of the U.S. are coming from the northwest. And you can still see all the insurgents just spread out in buildings. It's awesome. They are just in random buildings. I see a Dishka. Dishka on the roof with Truth Realm in it. Just on one of these random balconies. I mean, until you see that, you're going to take shots and die. I'm yeah. Non-stop. This is awesome. This is such a great map. I cannot wait to see what what sort of videos and stuff we see in the future from all of the games being played. In the meantime, more guys looking out the windows, holding steady. Yep. The neural, the Neils, and the Sensei Mike. And you know, great local chatter too. They are all, they're calling everything out they see. This is really cool. Yeah, right now the U.S. side is uh, heavily dependent on the uh, command squad right now due to that one uh, southern uh, flank there that they got going on. And they also has looks like they're sending, who is this? Uh, sending squad four, which should be, oh, I'm sorry, squad uh, two, which is uh, Mighty's group. Car, oh, they're all pushing now. All right, Barton and Umarex in the southwest are so close to Hamlet's little four-man squad. Hamlet's guys are pushing in hard. Oh, Umarex goes down. Takes one. Oh. That was Hamlet, I think, that got him. Oh. Not sure. Who is this? Karma needs to be careful. Some of his squads are starting to push up in on these, uh, on Burst Sang and them. It's all Barton right now. 
Fuck, they just ran outside squads, the doorway. Get your scouts out from north, pull them back south a bit. So they got the uh, U.S. Uh, patrol of uh, Humvees starting to come into the town now on the uh, western side here. Moving on uh, down. Uh, the southern flank of the U.S. is uh, slowly making its way uh, building to building, pushing its more away north, towards the north. It looks like, uh, who is that, Nash? Yep, looks like Nash uh, might have spotted him. He's uh, keeping it easy right now. Uh, Barton's definitely close to him. He's probably hears him walking around him. Well, he's taking yeah, his Barton, time. Yeah, Barton is in that building. He's holed up in that building, keeping his distance safe. He he watched his buddy die there. He watched. I don't know. I don't know who it was, but he watched him die. Oh yeah, Barton Cam. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Barton Cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Shout out to Johnny Omaha. We got to give Johnny Omaha a shout out because he does Barton Cam during NAS. And it's it's kind of become a thing. Barton is our squad leader for ops during NAS events. And he, he kind of made a, a Barton Cam the thing. So it's cool. He'll put it on Barton for two or three minutes for the whole map. Yeah. Or, or for the match. And for, uh, hitting that up. And it, yeah, it's funny. I love it. Well, we're talking about him. He does run that NAS event, so uh, be sure to uh, look at those um, events as well. He definitely yeah, does a really good later. time. Check it out later. North American Squad. It's it's put together, organized by Johnny Omaha, uh, FFO Hainick, and FFO I Love Your Backpack. Uh, great group of people coming to there. Uh, it's the it's the North American version of CCFN is basically what it is. And so, Kirsten Peterson is the NAS, North American Squad, buddy. Oh, Barton gets taken out. I think Hamlet oh, got him from the northeast there. But he got somebody. Barton did. Not sure who. Uh, well, so Burns over. is over here. Oh, go ahead. Talk to me, Nash. Here comes the replay. Hey, they're constrained to this building right now. Copy. Uh, try and get more push up towards you. Whoever's got uh, infantry near us, push up towards Barton and try and clear that building. Throw frags in. Oh, is Barton watching still a replay alive? of Barton coming up uh, right before his final moment. Barton was still alive. I don't know who just died there. Barton was still oh, really? Alive. Barton's down now. Yeah, Barton is now down. <laughs> Barton, give me comms. Are you up? That was funny. I don't know who I, don't know who I watched <laughs> die. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's hard to keep track sometimes. Well, we got the uh, east side of uh, the compounds here. Or, well, I'm sorry, west side of compounds uh, of the U.S. troops slowly pushing its way in. Uh, who's over here? Tactical Brit and Shadow Virtual are trading shots back and forth right now between Sedingo and Burns here at the north side. Oh, and they took down a Tactical Brit. Burns took him down. Right now, you're looking at Shadow of Ritual's position across the street from Burns and Sedingo. The tactical Brit just went down. We got a medic exhibit. I gotta tell you. Oh, what? I guess we can't do links. Well, it's twitch.tv slash North American Squad, I think. Is that right, Johnny Omaha? Right, we're on Shadowed Ritual, following him around. You know, a big thing I keep seeing, the insurgents are still spread out. They've got the buildings they covered. They really are, yeah. Everywhere. You know, uh, unless the U.S. can, you know, basically surgically pick them off from building to building and just walk but through. But the U.S. is uh, U.S. is slowly pushing them uh, in, though. Because they were, they're, they're uh, the, where the U.S. is at right now, that's where the insurgents were. So they're starting to push them inside uh, to the center of the town. Yeah, exactly. So it's working. They've got their whole army kind of come from that way. And I don't think they've taken. Let's check out the casualty count here. I believe that's on the south. Oh, four kills for the U.S., one for the insurgents. So there's yep. actually lots of people left. Whole lot of people left. We've seen very few casualties, to be honest. Yeah. So that right here, where I'm looking down, is the main street. This is what I was talking about. You want to be careful when you're crossing this because you could just get picked out alive. 
Oh, uh, when yeah. you're trying to cross this. And I think this is why U.S. is slowing down right now because they're trying to figure out exactly how they're going to approach uh, crossing over these, uh, this main street. There they go. They're starting to move all that up now. Oh, Karma's about to unload you know somebody. Squad Ops is thinking about that. Squad Ops is thinking about how can we incorporate more vehicles, uh, make it a little crazier. Uh, you know, what, go maybe we'll have a regular event, kind of like this, where it's just something uh, just ridiculous. Someone's going to come over know, here to this Humvee and death uh, runs figure and out what's like going that. on. Uh, Humvee, I got eyes on target, bunny. Yeah. He's in the uh, fucking... All right, you see... You see... Oh, maybe you can't. Ah, oh, fuck. No, you can't. I can hear Lish giving orders. They're regrouping. It's like the U.S. is re-strategizing as well. What do you hear on your side, Hyper? So Karma's trying to get this on V to look at these uh, contacts that are up in the building. Uh, I can't see their name. Is it Cloud Void? I think it's Cloud Void and somebody else. Yep, there he goes. He's starting to unload on them right now. He's done. He's just unload on that whole building. Just spread it back and forth. Oh, it's Smitty. It's Smitty and Cloud Void and Google Trex in that building. Yeah. But he got hit. You know what is really, really cool? I experienced this. I experienced this earlier on this map before the event started. A striker came up and it like triple wall banged me through through like a fence <laughs> oh, and two yeah. walls, and uh, and I was able to bandage and heal. So the damage is decreased when it goes through those. It's not like it's, it's oh yeah, it's not gonna really be like yeah, that for sure. It was funny. I was trying to. Lish and I were scrambling because we had just taken out a vehicle with his rocket, and, <laughs> and a striker comes out of nowhere, and we're like, "Oh shit!" Because he doesn't have any rockets, and we're just running. And it hit me, and I was able to repair in time. It's awesome. Yeah, this home V just unloading on a couple of those buildings over there. Oh yeah, peppering that dang building up with holes and everything. He's definitely got them scrambling. That's for sure. Well, and the U.S. learned. They know they were insurgents last round so they know they're in those buildings they're taking oh, yeah, up those sure. altitude advantage they're getting every yeah. every bit that they can they're gonna the somebody is gonna relocate now try to get a better position oh shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, there he goes lots of u.s soldiers just rolling in tearing you can see the insurgents falling back trying to get it together a little bit and this is doing really good because uh, this Humvee, this lone Humvee right now, is making suppression and it's push, letting these uh, U.S. Uh, soldiers on the west side of town push east and get closer to them. You're exactly right. That's what. If if there's a difference between the first match and this one, it's the outside suppression. Yep. It's of the, the Humvees. Humvees on the outside that are. Yep. You know what? They're not hitting anything. They're not hitting but, anything except for you know brick and mortar and exactly and yeah. And it's but it's working because they're afraid to stick their heads up. That's the big thing. The suppression. Yeah. The suppression factor. They're keeping them down from the top or uh, floor so that way they can take them out. And or I'm sorry, not take them out, but uh, push into the town and uh, be unseen. Uh, Decipher and Best Pony Day just about had it. Said, oh, there goes Decipher. He's running away now. He's getting taken shots. Bursang's running away. He's about to get taken down too. Oh, he made it around the corner just in time. Here comes uh, Humvee with even more suppression. The other Humvee now. Made sense. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. He just took Digit out so quick. Nice shot. Hey, you know what? Look at that. We got CCFN in here. Big shout out to CCFN, man. Yes, have, for sure. They're the originals, man. They're the, they're the first big stream thing for squad. Got to give them a big props. Hey, what's up, CCFN? Yeah, thanks for coming out and watching our stream, guys. We definitely appreciate it. We love playing your they guys' just, events. Oh, I'm sure they just showed a... Yeah, we watched round one. We didn't start ours until round one ended for CCFN. But they have some of the best vanilla squad you'll see. Uh, it's a group of communities and clans all over the place. Uh, from EU to uh, we have, have a Brazil oh. clan in there. Of course, North American clans or communities. All of it. It's so cool. So maybe CCFN is now over and they're coming to help us. All right. The the third floor of the building 140. Checking sure. out the For squad sure. ops one life event thing. Yeah. And in the meantime, the U.S. are surgically just just they're just dismantling it. their defenses and they just are. taking them out one by one slowly but surely and just progressing throughout the whole time oh, fuck. No, no, 
got Truth Realm on a shielded disc attacky right in the heart of the intersection here. He's about There's four a... stories up or so. What is that? Six, is, is there only six uh, alive for you on that side for insurgents? Uh, let's see here. Oh, gosh, they've definitely taken some casualties. Yeah. Oh, I'm not six. It probably looks, looks like about eight. Oh, I'll get a quick hit count. Google Trex went down. Oh, that's uh, seven now. Yeah. So, you're at seven. Truth Realm, Lish, and the Neils. That's four. And then also we have Big Jimmy HD, the Neural, and Sensei Mike. That's it. So the, the insurgents are getting pushed. You know what? Maybe they were too it's, sparsely spread out. Well, I think it is, it's like we were saying. These Humvees, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're, they're hitting them. They're penetrating these buildings and just taking them out. And then with that being done, the uh, infantry are just pushing in and just cleaning up the scraps that the uh, um, Humvees can't see. Hey, stop pushing drugs in our in our chat, Taxi. We don't, we don't want that. <laughs> we just want we, maybe another city map would be okay. We're on Karma Cut, Commander for the U.S. You might be able to hear him make some good calls. I'm trying to find him. I mean, this this map is going to make Sumari a rural map now. There's, I mean, Sumari used to be the main urban CQB map, and I mean, look at this. This is a city. Ooh, Karma's just calling them out in these buildings left and right. Just letting these uh, Humvees know he's talking where they're at. And that's great. He's got the Binox to do that, too. He can do it. Yeah. But well, it looks like who's that? Lish? Is that Lish over there? Take it? Yeah, Lish is over there taking pop shots at him. And there he goes. Right, he's going to throw Johnny smoke. Omaha just said him... he missed the scenario that's going on. And, <laughs> and it's because a lot of people came late. So, basically, zoom in on the map. The insurgents made a roadblock, and it's gone. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> no, the roadblock's still there. They, they get they get a roadblock in Golf 8 or Golf 9. Let me back out a little bit. I'm in, I'm in both Golf 8 and Golf 9 on my map, and that's pretty much where everybody's at right now, in Golf 8 or 9. But it's on the main MSR, that north-south road. It looks like the biggest strip almost. And they, they make their hab. They get a few roadblocks. But the main thing... The main thing for the U.S. is they want to come and they want to get rid of this this hab. The hab is the main roadblock, even though it doesn't look like it, it's not that pretty. Yeah, I'm looking at the hab right now, and yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not a pretty hab, but it works, and it's definitely the roadblock that they like you've been saying. We need that U.S. needs to take down, and that's what the yeah, uh team is trying to defend from happening. And that's exactly how they build the operations. Anyway, they want to they want to make it. They want to make the operation with a, a an achievable objective, like a, a goal you can reach. And it looks like the U.S. is actually reaching that goal this time. They're pushing in well. Great, great coordination oh, yeah. and communication by the U.S. And you know what? The, US the insurgents is... right now are still. They have great communication. I'm hearing command chat, uh, even with you know second in command, third in command squad leaders and stuff like that. U.S. is starting to slowly circle around them now, though. They're starting to uh, get around them and just push them into a center center to take the rest yeah. of them out. Yeah, and so so the that's the U.S.'s goal. Come get rid of this hab. And if they take it, the fob, there's a fob right there. If they if the fob goes down, the hab goes down. So even if they take out the fob by proximity, then they have to exfil, and that's at alleys, which yep. is to the east. It's a little island to the east, and there's really only one bridge across. There's a little like shipping container area of beat up sand and sediment and stuff but that's about it man i just can't get over i just can't get over oh. these uh humvees man they're just literally just picking everybody off oh and it's great that is great that's what happens when they're they're waiting for the calls they're pushing up slowly they're coordinating together yeah and this is a beautiful thing to see i you should watch more of it actually <laughs> see karma cut the commander behind him He's got his gun out now, but he's been pulling out the Binox, call, calling him out. Schmitty's now down. He was a squad leader for the insurgents. I think we've lost all squad leaders. Oh, man. So they're just going to have to talk in a local team now. 
our local uh, uh, comms now in order to hear each other. You know what? We're, we're really low on insurgents. You are. Here. I think you got three left, looks like. It does. It looks like it's Sensei Mike, the Neils, and Big Jimmy HD. Karma just caught out the hat. Get all these. He's staying at it right all the there, US. and they're about to take it. And they will. The remaining insurgents are way out of the way. So the oh, there goes the half. They just took it down. All right. And look at that. There goes the Neils, Big Jimmy, and Sensei Mike. They know where the exfil is, and they know that they have to use the bridge. There's only yep. one bridge there. And may, I guess they could go to the south, but the U.S. are probably going to try and push They see them. The They're taking pop shots at them right now. That's something about that, that's going to teach people a different way of game in this map is how far you can look down these roads and those shots you can take. You might not hit them, but you are going to scare the shit out of them. The yeah, I'll tell you that. You're going to make a move and go somewhere different. And there they go laying down some more suppressive flyer here so that way you can get to yeah. people uh, across the street. I mean, the suppression is more real than ever on this map. It really is. So it looks like they know that they took down the path and then uh, they're going to try to go back to their uh, exfil spot and see what they can do. Are we down to twos? Just to say Mike and the Neils? Or no, no, we got No, you got three. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can see three from my end. I'm going to stay back behind him. So like they just now uh, found out that the have is gone, so they're going to start pressing in now for sure, going to that X fill. Yep, yeah, Karma's just calling it. He, uh, he said, push to the X fill, push to the X fill. All right, we're going to see him coming to the X fill. Now, they're just it's going to be interesting to see if the yep. insurgents can get across the bridge before if they're going to try and Oh, they are. Uh, they are. They're they're trying to make up a plan right now of how they're going to attack this exfil point. So, here we go. The Humvees are going to start slowly pushing up while the uh, infantry uh, takes their time going through the uh, town, make sure that there's nobody else left uh in these compounds. Yep. It might slow down for a second here with the U.S. clearing all the compounds trying to get to the exfil. Real good job by the U.S., those, those Humvees. The oh, for sure. Was, for sure. Was that was key to success on this round. So it looks like they're going to try to make a squad on each side of the street here and just push down while the Humvees are staying in the road uh, along with them. Try to keep them oh, yeah, covered uh, in the buildings. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry we didn't incorporate any of the second-gen vehicles like Strikers and MTLBs. They're, they're coming in. It was a short-notice operation, so we went with what we knew a lot more than, than the potential stuff that could happen. And actually, for the U.S. on this map, they do get Strikers, but I, the insurgents don't get any MTLBs. There's no MTLBs on this map. Yeah, we try not to overload uh, when we make these ops, or when our mission design team and uh, them try to make these ops, they don't try to overload one side with just uh, a whole bunch of uh, us overpowering vehicles, uh, I should say. So that way at you least it has somewhat of a good chance of a roundabout balance for each side. Which map was it? We, we do have an operation where it seems like both teams get the same vehicles, like MTLB. Uh, and VST. That was the uh, open road event, isn't it? I think so, but I'm not sure. I know there was definitely BTRs and MTLBs. So, so here sure. they come. They're starting to push across this uh, corner here. They might, uh, the insurgency, insurgency team might be able to see them when they come up on this uh, bend here and they go up to uh, this bridge. Oh, I got a perfect position. Well, might be able to uh, Niels, a little bit on them. The Niels is in a great spot right now. He's is got he? the techie. Yeah, he's straight east of the bridge on the corner. Nice. And so if they come, he is going to get a lot of shots off before they see him, and they're going to have trouble hitting him. But that's provided they come this way. Always moving his truck a little bit now. Sorry. 
I can't uh, see because of a tree. And they can't. Yeah, the U.S. is just yeah, taking the time. Like, they don't want to push their Humvees through just so that way they lose them. They're just keeping up with the infantry and just and uh, what they're having is the Humvees look at the buildings while the infantry just moves to the street. You know, I don't know what the what the buildings are made of, Johnny Omaha, but the 50 cals can pierce through it for sure. 50 cals. Well, for anything, right I would assume so the They look definitely look concrete, but yeah. I don't know. Right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna get on. I'm oh, geez. Try to get a good this shot one, these gunners just not even looking towards the Xville. He needs to be a little bit careful before he gets popped out of there. Oh, the turret. <laughs> they ran over the right there. I don't think the Neils can see it or he would be shooting right now. I think Sensei Mike might have called him out. I'm not too oh, sure. Oh, gosh. Fuck, He's looking right at him. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on, light here him up. Go. Come on, Neils. Light there him up, is. buddy. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, three are down. Light it up right now. Wait, two of them are wait. down. He just wow. dropped two. That was this awesome. This is the problem. Uh, if they're if already, already through their smoke, then they're going to have a really hard time trying to cross this bridge. All right. The oh, Niels there goes one said, smoke. Nope. The Neil's bailed out. He's repositioned. Oh, he, same spot. I'm really though. surprised that the U.S. didn't throw any smokes trying to cover the uh, across this bridge first. He's just getting a little bit close. Oh, man. That was awesome. He just dropped two so fast. Oh, there they go. Bunny took down uh, Neil's. No, that was Neil's. Like, that was uh, oh, Big Jimmy's dad. Oh, it's all Neil's now. He's the only one left. Oh, that was yeah. I'm sorry, my bad. So they're uh, yeah, calling for everybody to load up the Humvees as much as possible, get across the uh, bridge, drop them off, and then just hold from there so that way they can give someone a suppression for the other people to cross. All right, so it's definitely U.S. are pushing the Neil's, the last man for the insurgents. He's man in the gunner's seat of an discotheque. Not even a shield. He has no fear. <laughs> here it comes. He's going to get the chance to unload here. Oh, oh, he just stopped short. Yeah, if he was back at the bridge. Oh, man, he could have kept lighting him up. Uh-oh. Who's this right here? Vilsen might be able to pop him off. I don't think he's even though. Hard caps. Nope, Wilson doesn't see him. Here they come. Is he going to see it? Oh! He just dropped nice uh, Jay shot. Rimmick. Nice shot. Oh, and he got Wilson. He hit Wilson for a little bit. Here goes the Humvee. He's going to try to push around the right corner. Now. Oh, he's whipping back, shooting at CG Foo, shooting at Burns. He's shooting at everything. He does There he goes. He's going to relocate now. He needs to be careful, though. If, he, if that uh, truck goes to the water, he's done. He'll have to get out of it. Yeah, look at him hugging that shoreline. Oh, no. Oh, there he goes. That's not good. Yep. He bailed. Oh, he bailed. man. He bailed out just in time. Here comes the replay from the Neil's perspective. Coming right at you, guys. Watch the replay. <laughs> Meanwhile, the U.S. is pushing up on that vehicle to see if they maybe uh, they get some. Oh, no. They're not even going to pay attention to the vehicle. They're just going to continue on. Oh, that's not good. I'm over the Neils. He's got the entire oh, team. Man. Just, I'm surprised they're you know, not even not checking a... out. <laughs> that's... Oh, my goodness. Now we hit some... Not the best shot for Neils. I can't right here. believe <laughs> yeah. I can't believe they didn't go over to that truck to make sure that there's nobody else over there. Oh, that's he's a funny thing. One, they're all looking south. Yeah, they, he's got one heck of a jump on him. That is, oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh wow. If he can reach up and poke that one, that Humvee gunner, he might be able to move in. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to do. I think he's going to try to get this Humvee out of the way, so that way he doesn't worry about that. Roll the vehicles to me too. Roll the vehicles. Here he goes. He's gonna. Oh, oh, that Humvee just moved just in time. Taking his sweet time. Here he comes. He's rushing the first Humvee here, or the leading Humvee. Oh, him and Vilsane. Oh, there he Vilsane goes. Vilsane gets him. Got him. Go. Yep. That'll it's be it. That'll be a good game. I'll call it this time a little quicker. All right. I got it going right now, too. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Since they took their time last time. Well, there uh, we go. That was really cool. Uh, you know what? 
That was really cool. That's a gr that, that was an was. awesome op for being made up the day before with no access to the map or anything. That actually worked out great. We saw the U.S. win one and the Insurgents win one. And that really came down to how they played with what they were given. That was what was so cool. The, the coordination of the Humvees in the second round was awesome. That was key. E that was even so with key. The, even with the big spread that, that Lish had his team on. I mean, he had guys everywhere in every building. It, it just worked great. Yep. For, I mean, just worked great for the U.S. to come in from every angle and just clear everything possible. So with that, you know what? Uh, that's our that's uh what we typically do is just do two rounds. Uh, that was our second one, so we will be uh, closing this out now. Uh, well, I just want to say thank you everybody for coming out, and uh, hopefully you guys have had a, enjoyed the stream. Uh, if there's anything that we could do differently, please let us know uh, in, our, in our forums. We'll we'll try to work our best we can. Muff, uh, you got any closing thoughts? Yeah, I do. We're going to be running some some vanilla of this. We're just going to run some regular squad on our public server. Uh, if anyone's actually got <laughs> access to this, come and join us. I'm going to be streaming it from my point of view as well. 